Episode 64 of Destroy All Humans. 64. Hey, it's Martian. And it's Milo. We got a really special guest up in the building, but before we introduce him, make sure you go motherfucking smash the like. Hit the sub sandwich. Put all the footlongs in the button below. Let's go. And then, uh,. Also, day quiz, no subs. Yes. And then make sure you uh, email us your music, your fucking questions, stories, other shit, conspiracy theories. I really don't give a fuck anymore. Just email us. Let's get to talking, get involved, and we appreciate you guys rocking with us. To introduce one of my best friends, one of the OGs, one of the original founders of this motherfucking metaphysics shit, Destroy All Humans, this whole platform. Big welcome to Alphonse Zauberg in the building. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's, up? what's, what's up, going man? on, guys? Man, how's it's the good. weather? It's, yeah, in it's sunny good. California. It's really, it's really nice. <laughs> it's good. How about you? Nah, it's fucking awful, bro. <laughs> it's just I was it's dark at it. four p.m. You know. It's it's the sun doesn't rise till like eight yeah. a.m. So yeah, you know, well, what, just, uh, tell the people where you from, man. Yeah, man, I'm from Denmark, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, south, the southeast, you know, Fucking east coast, way up there, man. <laughs> he's like, what? He, he's nine hours ahead now, right? Yeah, it's like uh, two twenty. No, oh, was like ten thirty p.m. Yeah, See, yeah, yeah, we nine caught hours. Him a nice, yeah, we caught him at a nice time, yeah. bro. It was tough. That's why. That's why we did the sixty-three and a half. Uh, yeah, the last episode, we just trying to make up some time because, yeah, we really wanted this this done, man. It's just, it's a little tricky with all this uh, fucking ancient artifact technology yeah. I have. We're running off a laptop, a 2011. Yeah. A 2011 Mac desktop. Dude, your fucking desktop's in fucking middle school, They're never going to fucking die. It's in sixth grade. <laughs> never going to die. It's absolutely They're rough never going to die. Dude, it's 13. It's literally a teenager. But literally, hey, I dude, do what need, the fuck, But, dude. hey, I do need help. Help, uh, yeah. to, like helping me uh, do like put put my oldest one in a virtual machine. Hey, can't I can't oh. I do that with with the mini Mac? The, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Those I little have no ones? idea, bro. He said, I don't <laughs> know, mini Mac. You're on your own, bitch. I'm just picturing like little Mac from Always Sunny. It's that one that turns into a projector. It's like really fuck y'all. Y'all I don't, don't remember shit. it. Y'all don't know. Yeah, shit. I don't you know. Plug it into your TV. I know Big Macs, Man, bro. I'm McDonald's Man. all day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking Mickey D's. <laughs> I want the Macs big, not mini. Oh uh, shit! I do Big Macs are fire. Do y'all got Big Macs <laughs> out there? Yeah, bro. We got the same shit y'all got, and it sucks. It fucking sucks. Unless you're really hungry or really drunk. Dude. You know, those usually they don't have, you know, happen at the same time, right? Wait, they don't have um like different uh items or anything like that? Uh yeah, they have some salads going and okay. like some uh, whole grain okay. options which they all suck, bro. <laughs> they all suck. <laughs> yeah, we don't healthy <laughs> McDonald's yeah. doesn't sound like a viable. Also, it's really expensive over here. Like I don't think y'all really. know how expensive shit wait, like wait, McDonald's wait, wait, wait. is. Okay, it's so like, tell me tell me what a McDouble, uh small fry and a medium coke would be. McDouble, I don't know about McDouble, but like let's uh, if we take like a Mac, just a Mac bacon or something, yeah. it's like uh, eighty kroners for for like a large menu, eighty five, which is like I want to say twelve dollars or something like that, wow. twelve thirteen, just for one burger, yeah, or a combo. No, that's for like the menu, you know, like a fry and a and a coke or okay, like a yeah, milkshake or some shit. That's about right. Yeah, we but are. like they make all the money on the fucking like, drink. A cheeseburger is like uh, two, three dollars, I yeah. think. Three dollars. This is, this is the same over there. It. 
This is how I finesse it. I get a McDouble, right? I get the small fry and I get a medium Coke that comes out to be about eight <laughs> ninety. You know what I mean? Still nice. in that McDonald's range. It was super cheap out uh, out in the Far East. Dude, Paul people this, hex. <laughs> this is what I'm tripping on. Why does each McDonald's in different districts have different prices for their menus? Why is it like gas? I don't know. Every yeah. I didn't know it was like that. Did anybody else know it was like that? Maybe I mean, it's, it's, it's a tax thing. I'm sure in like America like they can just squeeze as in, much out of you as possible. Back in Kansas, motherfucker, everything's the same price. That was here. <laughs> no, in Kansas, everything's the same price. Here, every every McDonald's has different totals for what you're trying to do. Yeah, I swear to God, I'm not even lying. <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about McDonald's. Um, man, you're one of my favorite engineers, one of my favorite beat makers. For a lot of people who don't know, we're gonna we're gonna let you know that he is the creator of the intro song, the infamous intro song to this podcast. Yes. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. it is it is it's probably one of my favorite fucking beats. I think ever. It's so dope that we got a copyright like yeah, thing like, for it. And like, yes, it like, this is this is ours. <laughs> you can't take it. It's never gonna be for sale. I don't think anybody's ever rapped on it. I remember. I remember nope. this. This beat was dropped into Telegram back in the original uh, Metaphysics uh, uh, OG days where we were on Telegram bullshit and every yes, day. Sir. And um, yes, sir. He dropped this motherfucker in there. And everybody was just like, "Oh my fucking god!" I remember, I remember Doc was like, "Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm about to fucking, oh my god, I'm gonna fuck this up." And I remember uh, he took it home. And he uh, he hit me up like later that night. He goes, "Hey, dog, I really can't rap on this, dog. I really don't know how to come at this shit. I really, it's too good. Like, I feel like I'm gonna fuck it up." And I'm like, "Send me that shit. I got it. I got it. I got that shit. I got two lines in it." And I go. This shit whack, dude. This shit is too <laughs> tough, dude. It's honestly just one of those beats that just sounds so good by itself. It's like it's up there with Mad Lib to me. It's just up there. It's like one of the best hip hop beats I ever heard. And yeah. the intro isn't even fucking. Thanks, it's not bro. even the whole song. It's it's ridiculous. It's got switch ups. It's amazing, bro. I yeah. just wanted to put that. Also, out there. shout shout out the uh, shout out stranger. You know he uh, he oh, actually yeah. makes that that track for me and and it, it wasn't like he did a whole lot but the stuff he did was just, just like just in the pocket right yeah Perfect. and oh, it's man. actually on his channel on soundcloud it's actually you know uh uploaded oh, <laughs> through cool. his channel and it's like uh hundred thousand streams or something like that which is you know pretty dope for, amazing for that yeah, no, awesome, well man. deserved because stranger unfortunately i don't know why we fell out or not really fell out we're on good terms but uh and as as for the people listening this is a this is a very special like producer he's so so good s-t-r-n-g-r like not stranger the whole word but just no e-r yeah. period on soundcloud one of the best producers i don't know if he's still active anymore I'm not sure, but, not sure but, but I do think he's dropped something in in the past like yeah. year or so. But I remember, yeah. I remember. But he, he's really talented. Yeah, man, really we talented. made some of our best songs. I think he did me and Melanie's. Uh, I forget. Yeah, yeah we did bro, that. We were y'all got some I bangers. That was that one, definitely. And then, um, you know, it's just I, I hope that he listens to this someday and just knows that we really appreciated him. We and we think that he's yeah. probably one of the best producers. We love you, bro. Grace the land, huh? and you know, uh, uh, as I just said, we love you, bro. To, yeah, to stranger, man. and love also on that note, man, I, I'm not sure if you guys have uh, have mentioned it. Uh, on the podcast yet but you know i just want to say you know uh rest in peace you know big paulie le Peric, you know oh yeah uh, the man. homie um, unfortunately passed away in in, in december and yeah, you man. know he leaves uh he leaves a big gap in the producer community very talented individual just an overall superb great guy you know uh, and, and what a loss not yeah. just for you know the community but you know I honestly For didn't think well. that was a. I honestly didn't think that was a real thing because I just I messaged Polly periodically just about his drops and just shit like that just to say, man, congrats, you're really doing big things because he really did hit, hit that midi titty shit is just yeah. you know a classic. So I remember when he dropped that and he was and he he I just was it was going and then it just popped and I was just like holy shit, my, my man like came from. I remember when he thought he was like the the weakest one at one point in the clique or you know just all that yeah. all that dumb shit you know with 
uh, and shout out Hector Vey and all those cats. Um, and um, for sure, it, it, I remember that dropped, and he was like, "Oh, I, I don't know," but I remember I, heard, I was I was like, "This is so good," and then it just grew into something really special. And I I I don't I feel like Hector and them were a lot closer to Polly. I feel like later down the road. But I think me and Polly always we we appreciated what we saw in each other because I really saw great potential with him. I just always knew they were so good, just like Hector and uh, fucking down to Thornius and to all those guys. You know, I just uh, I just think yeah, it's a it's a big loss because he was always a sweet dude, always really bubbly Definitely. guy, like really and always in a good mood, just trying to have a good time, really funny guy. You know what I mean? So it's tough, man. He was really and and you know he did a lot of the p- little peep stuff too. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forget what song specifically. I don't want to fuck that up, but I know that um, he was on the movie. So, I mean, he got... It's yeah. just it's just epic. You know, he's really on the rise. I don't know any details. I don't really care. You know, it's just, just you know, we love Polly and uh, we wish uh, his family the best, you know. We're sending Absolutely. Sending best wishes, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> so, yep. Yeah, he was an original. He was one of the first people we uh, added. Loved him to death. We talked about dreams and building the brand, and he just took it even further, and, and we were really proud of him. So, big shout out to Paulie. Big shout out to Paulie. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, let's roll into some stuff, man. It's 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 a sixty fourth episode in this big bitch. six four. We are big six four in this motherfucker on the big twenty four. <laughs> this bitch. The sixty four and twenty four. Yes, sir. <coughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need to get some water in a second, but it's okay. I got a, I got a couple questions before so, so um. And by the way, a lot of people DM me still to this day about um just you uh and the intro song, like the intro song is yeah. like they it is it is it is like it resonates with everybody who listens to it, and I think that's why people listen to our podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're like. We're I like, don't think it's because of us. I think it's just because of like how good that intro is. We're like a mid anime with this fire theme song. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah, you end yeah. up thinking you like it more just because the theme song's so good. Yeah. You're just like, yeah. I mean the yeah. the uh, the animation, the visuals, uh, y'all got for the intro is fucking fire as well. Like that. That's I, I think that's hand drawn, right? That's yeah, hand drawn yeah, by yeah, somebody. Yeah, hand drawn, bro. Yeah, and she's uh, awesome. shout out Lop Tunes. You can catch her on IG. Um, she's an amazing artist. She kind of kind of brings this like um, new age, like like I'd say like not so Rick and Morty. It's just it's a it's a more distorted. Uh, I want to be like Coraline, but Tim Burton. It's just got this new age Cartoon Network. It's just got a real cool nostalgia. Yeah, and it just feels good to watch. It's interesting. It keeps you just. Uh, we have a lot of plans for that, but well, that's an episode for another day. Yeah, but the music um, really brings it to life. But the I music feel like. brings the story and just the ultimate, like the the the. the, the bum, bum, bum. Um, it's it's like it goes it could be in a movie it's gonna be which by the way it's probably gonna be in a short film that we will end up making for real for real because that's such a good yeah it's credits oh man or yeah, just you know even I mean? like during definitely. a scene it could work so too. Far, yeah exactly so um and hey man it would be really cool when you come out to la and you visit we got you know what i'm saying and you could be my first like video um camera we could shoot aztec pipe dreams but it's really just you just walking around enjoying LA, doing regular shit. Sure thing. Because you know what I'm saying. Sure thing. And we could try to try to maybe try to contact stranger and get him involved in the video and and all that. So that'd oh be yeah, sick. he's so in that'd be fire. Uh, that'd be really he's fire. in Puerto Rico, right? Wait, what's up? Oh Isn't yeah, yeah. I Puerto- think either there or it yeah. was Ecuador. I really for I thought it was Brazil. If it's Puerto Rico, he's a nah, citizen. I'm pretty sure it's it's uh, Puerto Rico. Yeah, Puerto Rico. <laughs> that means he's like he's American. His house was so beautiful. He'd be like chilling in the fucking rainforest, just like making beats, <laughs> listening to like pelicans and shit. Just inspired like, by yeah, the beauty dude, of dude, the rainforest. He was amazing, dude. He's so good. Uh, shout out, stranger man. It speaks to me. Um, yeah, shout, shout out, stranger, out stranger, stranger man. Bro. This is the Danny Brown show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Um, uh, so I got a couple. I got a couple cool little questions. I think the you know people who follow you and who've been following you for a minute know of you and shit. And and you know for people who think that Alphon been in you know hasn't you know my man's been working in the shadows. He's been doing heavy engineering. My man's one of the best mixers in the game. I think in the underground right now. So um, he's just been putting out a lot of good Thanks. shit. That's why I wanted to bring up the man and stuff. Like go check that stuff out. He's mixed it to. It's just so, such a good mix. Such a good sound. So oh yeah. Um, so. I guess what I wanted to ask, I guess first for you, like I guess uh, for this being a six four episode, six four double O, ancient six six. Hey, um, 
I think I wanted to know like this the beginning in your perspective. You know, like of, of how that was. Oh, I yeah. guess I guess to start it, like how was getting the email for you? Oh, you're talking about the uh, the metaphysics uh, email? Yeah, the invite. The in- yeah. That was like yeah, the invite, two pages yeah. long. Famous. <laughs> a manifesto. Yeah. yeah, it was a manifesto. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think I knew it was coming, but nonetheless, it was like a pretty big experience, I think, because it was so official. And uh, it was like, I'm finally doing something real with this shit you know instead of just uploading beats to soundcloud like now i got connects i got talented people that you know i'm forming like a i don't know like a a solid group a foundation to do something real with and and that felt i remember that felt really good especially because i was like in like uh, in high school and just you know starting to try to form like an identity and that that's the point where i was like okay i'm a fucking you know i'm a producer now <laughs> yeah man i think uh yeah. i forget but back then you were known as eddie's mashed potatoes oh and yeah I think- nah bro it, nah it wasn't? that that's the, the I, that was before that oh, like yeah? it was uh what was it? it it turned it started as eddie's mashed potatoes but then it kind of morphed into uh emp, EMP. yeah yeah EMP. Uh, and that's kind of that it, it doesn't stand for that's, anything that's really but it was like songs as right emp yeah yeah, yeah. so that, that that's the which uh, that's still the i think is one of Monica. the illest fucking names to this day uh hell of people bit yeah, off yes. you, by the way <laughs> on soundcloud after bro. that so many people bro did that. I, I have a funny story about that you know it, i i tagged it with this uh arabic uh line right uh and it it's supposed to mean like stranger or alien or something in in arabic i didn't really bother you know looking it up that much so right. i just kind of threw it in google translate and you know you know our mutual uh joe aka uh, saint de meso shout out saint oh, de meso yeah. shout out joe, boy. um he never commented on it as well, even though he speaks Arabic, right? So I'm just assuming it was it was correct in some sense. But I had tons of Arabic speaking people hitting me up on SoundCloud, just Arabic scribble, scribbles in my inbox every fucking day. Uh, yeah. blah, 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 you know, I never knew what they were saying, so I was like, bro, I'm sorry, I don't speak uh, Arabic. Right? But I had major, major like uh, I don't know uh, requests. That I, that never had uh, you know amounted to anything because I don't speak Arabic, right? Right. right. So that was kind of funny. <laughs> it's like, what do you? They what? just thought you were like, the, dude, 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 dude. To heaven sent. Yeah, like, man. You probably had like a really good following in the Middle East at that time. You were probably just like that, dude. I mean, I have SoundCloud Pro, and it's like not really. Right? Like, <laughs> they're just, but at the time, maybe so they're just, just tilt, doing the tilted know, car man. thing they do, like with his like beats bumping and shit. Yeah, you know, like how they like yeah, yeah, they have like the Mercedes. You know, uh, little yeah. did you know there was there was four deep in a Mercedes tilted <laughs> on two wheels to Elf on to EMP. <laughs> That's just so <laughs> lit. Yeah. yeah. That'd be lit. Um, yeah, just hundred guys in bath robes, just bumping, you know, <laughs> yeah. Aztec pipe dreams, yeah. on, you know, some dirt road somewhere. Yeah, yeah. no, I remember yeah. uh, going back to the to the you know the the email. I remember me and Doc T really sitting down because he had this whole idea of bringing. Well, first he wanted a group, and I said like Wu Tang. And he was like, kind of like Wu Tang. And then I was like, well, we have to do it differently, you know, kind of like. Actually, kind of like Wu-Tang, but we just can't be, it can't be a group because we all don't know each other and we all don't rap. So, like, what are we making? It's more of a collective, which is what Wu-Tang is. It's producers and rappers. So we were kind of like, okay, we can take that structure, move with it. And I was kind of going to take the point as Risen. When we made the email, we really, we kind of already were doing music, I think, before we sent the email. And we all kind of were just chit-chatting. And we kind of knew who we wanted. Yeah. And we wanted it big because at the time, SoundCloud was just such a cool space to to kind of just talk to people and people were just down to really make music and there was a lot of cool people making like really fucking yeah. like i'll even shout out traffic because even we, though i don't know really what he's up to and we kind of don't talk no more but i remember i found him i found hector i found 
you I found, and then Doc T really found a lot of people. Stranger and, and Melanie, and he, he got the girls, and, and Nas. Shout out, and Nas, because she's so good. Shout out, she's just yeah. so fucking talented. Big shout out to her, and she even hit me up trying to, she was like, I was like, we need to get another one in. She's like, send that, and I was like, I'm not ready. <laughs> but like, yeah, but we're going to get one in, but yeah, shout out her. She's, she's so cool, but we just really wanted a mixture as well, because we didn't want just rappers and shit. We wanted just a whole spectrum, because metaphysics it was, and, and the funny thing about metaphysics was it wasn't that. We landed on so many bad names, man. It was like <laughs> Definitive Circle. Nah. Yeah, the Definitive Circle. Yo, this, this circle is yeah. definitive. Yeah, like the, it it's was, not one of those undefined <laughs> yeah, circles. It was gonna this be, one has a definition. Doc T wanted to call it Wicca House, and I was like, <laughs> that sounds like we're going to be straight goth. Um, and oh, then yeah. he wanted it Dead Sea Money, which is later k- became our merch, which was cool. But I was like, that's just too goth. Oh, to yeah. Me. He was in a goth phase. So yeah. It was all right. He was in his goth, his, uh, his trap goth shit. So, um, <laughs> Finn goth. Yeah, it's Finn goth. And uh, so, but that email, man, we really took a lot of time and we wanted to make everybody know that this wasn't schema posse. This wasn't fucking nothing that we're gonna make you sign this is all us and it's it's a platform for us to be like we're this is metaphysics but we're all our own artists you'll make your own money i know shit gets shit got complicated though i think real early i remember this one little drama just us doing oh, yeah. shows and not getting yeah. paid shit by the way like yeah. straight up getting funded by clams hey clams <laughs> if you listen man it's all love homie like it's all gravy and grits but this is the real you know we were just funded by a good buddy that was just supplying us a good time a good party you know and uh you know giving us these venues which i commend him i had one of the best shows in the back room shout out fucking uh i think it's fort for fort Worth. no not for i don't know i fucked that up but back room the back room in uh in, in arkansas best place it was like a college town best show i ever had we were it was just shout i appreciate clams. clams to the fullest um but uh during that time a lot of members got a lot of members got mad that they weren't doing shows and and stuff and it's like well you live in puerto rico I'm trying to put in, you know, work for, you know, and I'm shouting out Stranger in particular just because he knows what this is. But we squashed this a long time ago. But even Hector, you know, people, he lived in Mexico at the time and stuff. It's just, it was hard to make everybody feel valued at some times. But all over, overall. Especially when we weren't making any money. And we weren't money. making any money, but so they like thought not, we were. Not like we had funds to, like, yeah, and do we, anything. And they thought we were. And that was tough because it's online. And it's like, man, I can't really, you know, even, hey, and we even made uh, the metaphysics, uh, the sim- uh, a distribution thing to where all metaphysics streams, exactly. if it was through metaphysics, it goes to there, and that's everybody's money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but th- I think that was later on when you know we kind of got into you know the transition towards Spotify, and things just started getting weird because getting traction on Spotify yeah. is a different beast that's than when, SoundCloud. Because yeah. SoundCloud, that's a grassroots kind of thing. It is, you know, yeah. one, one person drops something, the whole gang, yeah. you know, comes out the woodworks and reposts and comments and shares online, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of hypes the whole gang up, really. But Spotify, that's kind of... Yo. Yeah, It's yeah, like a social sure, media yeah. kind of thing, too. Because yeah. it's like you can repost, you can share, you can like. Spotify is just... It's an algorithm thing, right? If you if you uh, are looked upon nicely uh, by the algorithm gods, you know, some fucking nerdy editorial dude in his office, you know, listening to music, and he just so happens to like your, your shit or she likes your shit, then you get blessed kind of like an infinite money glitch, right? You hit one playlist, then it goes up there, then it goes on another playlist, right. and you just kind of hit this uh, playlist circuit and, you know... Some of these lo-fi producers are insanely lucky to to be a part of that. You know, one lo-fi beats playlist, and then you hit the next one, and then suddenly you can live off it. Um, yeah, man. I'm kind of. I'm, I'm even <laughs> some of these. Uh, these. Yeah. Some of these even. Oh, yeah. uh, these funk rappers that are doing like this upbeat yeah. funk. It's more like house funk. They like every time I see them drop, they just get playlisted immediately to like the biggest funk playlist. I'm just like. How, y'all must be friends, you know. That's just it's just crazy, you know, to get I mean, that in and, and to be. It's it's nice, you know. Well, if you're in a, if you're in a niche it. too, it's easier to like make like the niche, so. niche playlist, and, and then from the niche the playlist, you can start to make like bigger playlists. I think that's so. the thing too, keeping a consistent sound to to like you know the theme. 
not necessarily the same song every time, but the same type of, you know, character, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, that you're trying to portray, you know, whether it be a fucking, you know, made up character or your own character, a hood character, gangster rap, whatever, horrorcore, you know, it's got to have a concept to it so i think that helps a lot which is a nightmare for me because all my songs sound fucking different depending on what the fuck i feel like but uh um but i've gotten on a playlist before shout out uh but i was with bsdu so shout out that the boy beside you with autumn that was a sick and and, and uh, inside out that was cool um but yeah it's really cool to hear your perspective from it because we always wanted to make everybody feel special and just like you know at the time there was a lot of collectives so we just we just wanted to make sure everybody knows that this is your time to shine and you can make the moves and there's no leaders as far as it may seem that doc T and us were like the main guys. Like it, you know, doc T really was our main put our rapper, you know, that we were pushing at the time. So, mm-hmm. and uh shout out doc T, you know, and, and all that stuff, but you know, and really he wrote that most of that email. So shout out doc T. He really did put that up. Yeah. He he had visions, he really did, you know, man. and and a lot of them came to you know full fruition, and really some of them didn't, right? But but you don't know that at you know at the uh, inception of things. Yeah, and everybody um, was really young. I had high hopes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> it's tough when everybody's really really young. I mean, I think everybody's damn near sixteen to seventeen. Most of us, so yeah, I was uh, I was sixteen. Yeah, I think. you know, sixteen and or Hector just was turned like 17. our youngest one. I believe in Polly. Yeah, he was like 15, yeah, 14, so, 15. And shout out Thorny is like Dank. That. I keep, uh, there were so many of us. Uh, oh, yeah, Arthur, shout out. Yo, Arthur, know, Arthur, yeah, Arthur, big, well. big shout out to Arthur. I, think I, Thorny, I, I remember I, Thorny is coming through some of the shows too. Didn't he live like not too far or something? Uh, oh, Relum, shout out Relum. Um, he was one of our originals. Oh, yeah, man. That's, uh, listen, brothers, there's so many guys. Yeah. We're gonna forget I know, it. I, so I, they're so already many pissed so. off. They're like, "What the fuck?" But Arthur <laughs> was one of our original uh, OGs. Still to this day, still active. We have a lot of yeah. songs coming out. Like, um, you know, uh, I remember the first time I met Arthur, and it was funny because over oh, over the internet, he just seemed like a small dude. And I remember we met up in Portland, the first metaphysics meetup uh, ever. Shout out King Yosef uh, for letting us uh, shoot at his crib and hang out and just show us around Portland and shit. Get some videos done. Shout out Ryan McKinnon. We shot a lot of cool stuff and uh, fucking oh yeah for yeah. sure. And uh, Lord the uh, Sane. metaphysics, uh, the the intro right to MK Ultra. Yeah, that's uh, that's Ryan, yep. isn't uh-huh, it? I believe so. Yeah, and then um, fucking you know, shout out Lord Sand. That was a really really good time. Like just just oh, getting yeah. to meet everybody. Uh, Relum was probably one of our nervous invites because he's he's a legend. Like in my eyes, he's just one of those underground legends. So we were really nervous because he was already coming off the get buck shit with Poya at the time. So we were just like, fuck, we really need Relum because he was just left uh, OT or uh, the threat, the threat shit he was in that little group. So. Oh, we were like, oh, we gotta grab him, man. And he said yes. And we were like, bro, I remember me and fucking Doc D was like, we was like, ah, we was fucking hands. We was like, dude, we was fucking on when we were like, we got the God, bro. And Hell then, yeah, dude. And then we ended yeah. up, being, you know, still to this day, we come out with a lot of cool shit. So shout out the boy. I love yeah. him to death, man. Shout out Rilla, real, bro. Man. Rilla's He's in the game. And, he hey, was man, a legend. Boy, before give my man his people fucking started money, calling bro. him a legend. <laughs> no fucking cap. Give my man his fucking money. Give that, give that man his get buck money and call it a day, man. Yeah, for real though, that's all I gotta say on that. Cause I like, I like everybody, but that's fucked up. <laughs> I ain't gonna cast. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, that that happens to a lot of people. I so, think you know the producers always getting fucked in the yeah, end. Man, you know? um, yeah, man. Truly, uh, I hope. I hope Paulie got some from from Peep as well. Cause, oh yeah, you know, you know he did. Man. I think the last time I seen him on his story, he was in Amsterdam living a good. He was on one man. He was he was having a good time. Man. <laughs> At least he was enjoying his, himself okay. and 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 getting getting yeah. busy. Man, it was, it was inspiring to see. Um, I think a lot of I think what a lot of people might want to hear about between me and you would be I think I I really am fuzzy about this, but maybe you know more. Like, how did we come about nauseous? Which is one of our biggest songs, I think, to this day. Which is, which is to me, uh, it's one of the hardest yeah. songs for me to listen to. Because for me, I was, I believe, tripping. 
I was tripping when I wrote that. I was on acid from Bonnaroo because that's when I got back from. Oh yeah, yeah. That so acid. I wrote that, <laughs> and then like Dude, I was also shit. I and then like I finished. I wrote that in like two days. So then the next day I was like all powdered up, and then I just finished it up, and I was just I was really on my bullshit back in in the dub. So that's when I wrote it. <laughs> so it was really cool. I was still in high school, I think. No, you weren't. I wasn't in high school. You never went until Bonnaroo until after you graduated. Okay, 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 cool. So then it was the second Bonnaroo <clears throat> too, because we brought it back when we went with Boss that one time. Okay, cool. So yeah, I was off of it, and then he sent me that, and that's really the first beat I've ever done like that ever, and like to this day, I've never hit a beat like that ever again. Like I don't know how that happened, but I just wanted to, I wanted to know what you remember about how that came about. Yeah. So first of all, this podcast, you know, should also be known as uh, Mavo and Martian's uh, drug odyssey. <laughs> 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 A lot of the drug fueled uh, things happening here, and I fucking love it, especially coming from like a, a really sort of sober, uh, I don't know how to say it, but like a really non controversial part of of, uh, of Denmark, you know, kind of uh, what's it called, like social democratic Denmark, right? Yeah. Like all this drug stuff. I just remember being completely, you know, enamored by it uh, in the beginning, you know, all these stories and, and shit. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ, these guys are fucking insane, right? Especially, <laughs> I still yeah. think that, to be honest. Still think that. No, but, no, no. I know, mean, at the time, man, you had the every output, right to believe that. The output that y'all come we with would be on some crazy. shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was a better, it was yeah. a safe bet, honestly, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were in, <laughs> but we're like, in uh, Kansas. In terms of the of this song, uh, Nauseous, uh, I think... I kind of had this like uh, maybe 50 second loop or something which was really it was really lo-fi sounding like I was really hitting the 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 lo-fi button yeah. <laughs> back then and I was like just sending Marvel these ideas as I usually do right and it's just it's just like a, a snippet it's not a it's not a finished beat or production or anything and uh, sort of like uh, I don't know a couple of days later I just get hit back here's what I did with it I was like bro it, was, it wasn't even finished <laughs> and then it was just this fucking bang Banger, just banger, and it's just, it's very the beat is very repetitive because it's pretty much unfinished, yeah. right? It's just a snippet, but he's just looping it and, <laughs> yeah, and just, just adding it. all these cool like, effects <laughs> and and stuff, and it just works for some reason. It just fucking works. So yeah, it was. I don't even uh, think you changed anything, really right? Surreal. Did you even change? No, no, no. The, you uh, you you have the last version. So whatever you did to it, you know that's. That's what happened. And that shit, that shit with no promo, we didn't, uh, back then, we didn't, I just made it. So, like, it was Sapuku. Yeah. I think, then, it, oh, Intel Zip, Sapuku. No, Sapuku, Intel Zip. And then it was Nauseous. Those were my first songs I ever wrote. And I was like, I, I don't know when Jaron Benton came out. Maybe I was already on that, but I don't know when the Free Basin with Freemasons came out. But I would like to know the timeline of who said it first. Because I did say that, and it's just like I was Man, just on my shit. Look, but I might have, we might have been bumping Jeremy, Ben, and I might have took some inspiration. He 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 didn't do it like you guys did it differently because he's like live from my grandma's basement. Fuck, uh, uh, camp I'm free, mate. Uh, I'm free motherfucker. Basin. I'm Jason in something free basin. Uh, something. Oh, what does he say? Something about Freemason. Not literally. Free Check my home. the timeline for me, because uh, SoundCloud. Not literally. What year was that? Mason. You think? 2000. No, yeah, because uh, he goes 2015. He goes free basin. Be patient. That's what they 15. said to me. Yeah. So 2015. Check out what that when that came out. I'll just fact check this, Jamie. But yeah, that the nauseous got posted on like a pretty big SoundCloud channel, and it got like a hundred and fifty thousand streams just on there as well, and then on yours uh, as well. So it was kind of like two big songs Dang, going on after. But it's completely different because he's no, like, no, no. I used a different scheme, but I definitely I, he, I was and he like I goes, took he doesn't even doesn't even really because oh. he goes not literally free my homeboy Mason free basin be patient. That's it. So he, oh. all he does is say free basin. Oh. He doesn't really like use that as like oh. a punchline. Oh, I didn't know that. That's what they said to me. I didn't know that. Okay, <laughs> well, I used it way differently. I was like, I was like free basin with Freemasons. Come be a part of it. Get respect like Carter. Yeah, yeah. I was like doing some different shit. So yeah, yeah, totally. But yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I, I, uh, I wouldn't have thought that you you would have stolen something like that, even though you were tripping off whatever, right? Yeah, but no. I'm glad. That's I, I'm glad I didn't in do your, it verbatim. In your no, no, verbatim, because that was the only thing. Because he makes a joke about the word Freemasons. Yeah. He's like Freemasons, not literally Freemasons. Free 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 yeah. Free 
yeah. Free basin, be so, patient. Cool, That's what cool. they said to me. I'm just glad, you know, I'm a hip hop head. You know, I just got to make sure I'm not, you know. But um, I love that fucking bar. I remember cool, that though, made me too, into Jaron Benton. Cause, that uh, part. Because <laughs> um, Earl Sweatshirt was real popular at the time. And I remember, Hell I think yeah. uh, I think his album had come out that little the more face one so um, which one i think the self-entitled one right the one with uh the morphed fe- the fucking face on the front the one with the i don't fuck with no cops running that one no the fucking the first uh, one i don't like shit i don't no, go dude. outside no isn't, no the old that... one the first one y'all oh no because i was still living doris? in the garage then what was it isn't it doris no 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 you're one? talking about earl earl I'm no, talking about Earl. That came out like so you I, you may have still been in high school when that came out. That's what I'm I was still living in the garage apartment. So but like Earl, I think to that point was like really in my in my school about like cause he really did no choruses. So when we made nauseous or when I felt nauseous, I just was like really into that style. I was like, how yeah. long can I rap for? And I think that song is, I don't know. I think it was like three, four minutes. Is it nauseous? Plus, like back four then, minutes? it's like yeah, Little minutes, Wayne. Some like free minutes. rappers in general would just do that. Like Little Wayne would just like merk a yeah. whole beat so, with no chorus. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was like a way more uh, prominent thing. And yeah, hip-hop we were just back on then. that shit. I just thought maybe I could make it with no choruses. Yeah, we would do that shit but, all the time. But honestly, man, that shit got harder and harder <laughs> yeah. because because he burned a bunch of bars. Because dude, because I remember after nauseous and especially after angles. Motherfuckers just wanted that flow the, all the time, and like honestly, I regret not just doing angles that flow. Which, which by the way, I do have songs that do have that flow. So for people listening, it been will on my be angles. back. But like, yeah, man. Yeah, I love that song. I really, really, really love that song. Shout out, still, still, still man, one, of, one of the still, homies. Man. You know, uh, man. If you want to hear a little bit of tea, I, I got mad at still because. Uh, uh, funny enough, he sent we he sent me beats and I was like, oh, let's get another one in. He sends me a little beat pack. I really like this beat. I ended up making it, and I think it's called. Uh, it's the. Um, it's uh, it's a song we put out. I was. Uh, it's a, it's one of my first break beats, like type to do like like that type of style. And I was really excited to do it, and I called it "Losing Touch." And uh, it's oh, still yeah. on my Spotify. I was going to take it down because of this drama, but I ended up not taking it down because I put it out. Um, it's all square. I think I, I think I leased it. So it's not like I had exclusive rights, which is why I should have probably reacted a little bit differently than what I did. But uh, I, uh, <laughs> the way he, when he described it, he was just like, it's yours. You know, it's whatever. Just kind of how it's always been, you know. And I would have paid for, more, I don't know, whatever. So I, I record the song, I put it out, <laughs> and then motherfucker, dude, guess who drops a fucking new album <laughs> out of nowhere, like out of nowhere, and just guess, fucking bones, the big bro. man, fucking, yeah. dude, that's that's not good. So like. I go, oh, cool. And why are you saying, oh, what's the big deal? It's just a Bones album. Well, I'm going through the new Bones album because I like Bones. And I like checking out all the new Bones shit. So I'm listening. I'm going through. And it goes. And I go, hey, that's my beat. Oh, uh uh-uh. So still, and then he had production on the album. And I was really excited. And I was like, oh, that's. That sucks. Well, my song's pretty much gone. You know, so I got hella mad about that. Yeah. I was like, oh, man, why are you giving it to me? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, I didn't. I just blah. And so anyway, we're, we squashed it. I think, it's all love. I, I but, think to, to be, I was, to be I the was devil's advocate. Yeah. I, I was heartbroken. We hit it completely different. Yeah, to be. You were just thinking like, damn, Marvel, this can't to be, be the, mine anymore, really. Like, yeah. Because his East Bones was so much To be bigger. the devil's advocate, guys. Uh, I think, you know, I think still he sent him like probably like 15, 16 beats, like just his whole catalog. And I just think, I don't think he thought a lot about, you know, no, I know. That that's, that's what song. he presented so it as. I don't think he did it on no, purpose. No, 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 no. Completely. Completely. Yeah. Picked, Completely. You know, yeah. And you know, I felt, I felt cool because yeah. I was like, hey, me and Bones kind of got the same style. I was like, all right, or same taste, not style, yeah. but we got the same taste in Okay, in, in my opinion, right, your song is better. So. Oh, man, appreciate that. <laughs> you know, so don't take Dude, it down. No, I appreciate that. And that's what a lot Please of my friends told me. So I said, all right, well, I'll keep it up, man. It's It's cool, but... I feel like people will hear it and go, this is, I mean, people like, I don't know, hip hop fucking kids will be like, this is Bone Song or something. It's like, my shit came out before his. Check the dates. 
It's <laughs> fucked up. But anyway, a little bit of tea, a little bit of tea. But uh, but shout out still. He's one of the best producers ever. He's he's really sick. Um, super sick. He's actually doing shows. Uh, catch him out. Uh, I don't know dates or nothing, but it's on his IG. Go follow him. Um, so nauseous, yeah, man. I I think, and it still is like goes up every day. It's like one of my most played songs to this day on SoundCloud. A lot of people just still love that shit, and Hell I yeah. think a lot of new kids that find SoundCloud and it just pops up in the algorithm because I think it just, I think a lot of people, a lot of people still follow me on there. It's more like my most followers. So I'm about to be showing a lot more, I think, focus towards SoundCloud. I feel like no matter what, even if it's a dead platform, it's like people still get plays on there. I mean, shout out my boy Gizmo and MK Ultra, the 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 artists. You know, a lot of my friends just really do still do good, you know? So it's like, yeah. I don't know why I would let it go, you know? And Slug, shout out SLVG, you know, um, and all that. So... So cool. I think a lot of people would like, yeah, wanted to know a little bit of nauseous history. Yeah, you know, it was drug and fueled, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, it's one of my most <laughs> lyrical, I think. I don't know. It's very beginner to me, you know, but I, I, I think as far as like multi syllable rhyme schemes, it is very, I think, advanced for the age I was at. I yeah. So it's really cool. It's and, a cool listen to. Yeah. And to interject on that yeah. right uh it's kind of a an acapella that lives on in multiple forms because it was also used you know part of it was used in in this oh, uh, beat Doom, i made yeah. called death death wish part yes, two uh, where, where i sampled like a, a doom acapella and crazy. you were you were like on the second part with that really grimy sort of piano dark piano sample and it's just fucking it still slaps and i still get a lot of plays and Shit. a lot of comments well, in the, well, on in that. This who's this guy that. who's this guy man that's marvel bro <laughs> come on bro that's what's up man no, yeah. that's one of my favorite tracks we'll play this actually we'll fucking play that at the end of this track sir but we'll just rock out with that one so you guys yeah, can just totally. check that out hell yeah um man appreciate that man i remember you showed me that you sent me that i go you did not put me with the doom dog <laughs> You did not put him with Doom Dog. I know. I know, I think he would even really like it. Yeah, uh, honestly, I think he'd be friends with me. Want to be friends with me? Yeah, I think he would. <laughs> you I, know, I, from Knocked Up when he's like oh, talking yeah. about Vince. You know, Vince Vaughn. I think he'd want to be friends with me. <laughs> Doom is the truth. <laughs> Hon- I, Hon- the I always goat. say that to each other. <laughs> Where P the goat, man? I, it's yeah. so sad we lost him so soon. I, I love. Him. Yeah. I love to do, man. Money fold the... Um, For sure. That, they, uh, that acid story was hilarious, too. Yeah. Because that was when you, like, didn't think it was going to be strong. He yeah. was like... Because he'd been holding on to it. Because Bonner was, like, a month or if, months before, and he just still had this acid. And then I remember he, like, just called me, and he's <laughs> like, yo, I took that shit, and it still works, man. Dude, like, yeah. I'm tripping balls right now. No, I was like... I think I was babysitting my, <laughs> my brother's kid. Yeah. Like, I thought it wasn't going to work, so I was like, I'll just play a little GTA. And then I was like, GTA is looking fucking not GTA right now. And he's like, hey, what's up, dude? I'm back. I'm like, I'm going to go home, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, but here, let's let's keep it going before we... we um, um, Alphon, Alphon will be on a lot more. He's going to definitely be our reoccurring guest. So shout out. Um, everybody still rocking with us. If you are, subscribe. Motherfucking hit the sub sandwich. Get your five dollar foot lock in a motherfucking button. You know what I'm saying? Quiz no subs. Um, big quiz no subs. Big 24, big Mamba vibes, uh, big tits, big things. Um, so let's talk about, we we don't want to reveal too much about our new songs that we're working on. We have a lot of songs that are actually uh, in the vault. Oh, a lot yeah. of them are old, which I, I, I'm going to put together and send you all of them throughout the years. That Because um, fucking the for me it was a lot like for our album or i really think we'll, we'll do an ep um so it's just like the pre you know we're gonna do a, i would like to do a couple on oh the album, yeah you know but like I, the infamous uh marvel alphon EP yeah, that's been that, in the works for like 10 years like, because <laughs> then all of a sudden like all the songs that were for the album started coming out like in 0604 yeah. that was for the album um uh, I yeah. think uh, Anomaly was for the album. Um, like things oh. were just, but like because you were that that song was originally written on your beat, and then Arthur sent me this beat, and then you were like that. I think we were like you, that sounded better, so we were, I was like, oh fuck it, it's just a one minute song. It's just a lot of songs just started Exciting. coming out, and getting pieced away, which <laughs> I still feel like like it or not was supposed like it or not was supposed to be on the album as well. 
And like that shit fucked me up because that was a rush song because I don't just don't know. I was just in a in a way where I just was juggling songs and just I needed a good song and that was one of my best songs. But then the second verse I rushed it and it just sucks. So I honestly would honestly would love to just private the one I put out, redo it and put it for the album and make it correct. And maybe we could just tweak the original and make it a little bit better. I mean, but that's just, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to spitball. Yeah. I'm just going to come out there and we're just going to, you know, yeah. one week record a whole album and then I'm, I'm going to take it back home and, and mix it. And, you know, it's going to be great. Uh, yeah, so, no, hell yeah. I think, I think that that's what needs to happen. No, for you know? sure. Like, and, a, uh, I've already written yeah. to a couple things you sent already and, and i got i got a lot of demos that's why i got to get all of them together and just send them over and see like what <laughs> what it, what they sound the like. demo king over and here. we also <laughs> i think we also have a we have a collab we have a song with satire oh um, yeah but we it's just not oh, put out yeah because you, yeah. you, you put one out but you didn't, I put, didn't the put the other one out because he didn't send me a stem so it's not mixed so i'm about to just say fuck it yeah honestly but i don't know we need to listen to it to make sure it's fresh still, because my version. I remember that shit. It's, was fire. it's called talking down or whatever. So we'll we'll see what's going on with that one. Uh, so yeah, and then so we have we have new songs coming, project to be all that stuff. I think uh, we we I, w- I want to say, you know, I think we'll get an EP together. The album is when you come out, and we can really get to the real meat and potatoes and shit. Um, Definitely. but uh, I think the EP will probably, I'm, I'm trying to aim for this year for sure. For me, Alpha, we'll get a little EP out for sure. That's the goal. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And then, uh, AI, man, let's talk about AI a little bit on the end, <laughs> on the a... pack end. Or we could talk about, oh yeah, first real quick, cool, little fun question. Let's let the people know who your top five producers are. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a big one, bro. Uh, I mean, for me, right? There's uh, there's quite a few people that could make this list, but I think I need to do something. I think I need to separate who I say I'm inspired by, who I like, yeah. and then who I'm actually inspired by in my music, right? Like the, the stuff that creeps through without me thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, because that's usually the people that you uh, would put in your real top five right yeah not yeah. just the one you say are the coolest so top one for me without a doubt like there's no competition here for me it's it's timberland like he's hey. uh, hey. yeah. yeah it's man. like uh, hey. the, the way he the uses tim- percussion man yeah he's the he's the percussion goat and there's so many stories there's so many stories from from big you know industry artists that as soon as timberland touched it it just it came to its came, uh, yeah. it's 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 you know he be doing form, right? uh, those uh, TikTok uh, lives or whatever he does streams and stuff man and he has people send yeah. in songs and like man try that out sometimes so really peep it live <laughs> like right that'd on, be crazy man, all dude. the time he does it all the time it's really sick so number two oh man I, I gotta put uh, Timberland there as well no I'm just kidding <laughs> Timberland uh, I'm gonna put Dylon you know, Dylon, Dylon. 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 I'm actually gonna put uh, Flying Lotus. Um, oh yeah, aka Captain Murphy, uh, dude. Just because of the massive, just sort of we seen him. The weird and esoteric uh, way he goes about it, just mixing all these genres and just doesn't give a fuck about you know someone uh, someone's ability to rap on it. Right? It's just fucking. It just smacks and it's so weird and I love it and. Uh, yeah, I, I, and I, again, I'm saying this as in what I'm actually inspired by in my own music, right? Like the stuff that you'd be able to kind of pick out, I think, yeah. in my mm-hmm. music as well. And to that end, you know, number three is going to be, you know, Jay Dilla, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, the offbeat uh, MPC style swing on the beats, you know, the, uh, what are they called? The syncopation, right? The yeah you know, that kind of bounce right it's just, just got that uh, old school fucking legend 90s optimization Dude, where they so don't good. have no fucking for you know, sure there is no like go and click a button and it does it for you it's just got that natural swing to and it and you're just able to make like really like profound verses on jay dilla so, like I mean, jay dilla verse like a verses on them are always like 
like so far. Oh, man. I and like. I mean, I, I, I think Common and Jay Dilla are one of the most coolest. Yeah. Fun. It's like one of the best sounds you could ever listen to. Um, I think Jay Dilla is also just, they have the best equipment from the old times where like they have those machines, like even Premiere to fucking, you know, um, Infamous. They just have these machines that are just very old, but they create this certain fucking sound yeah. that just yeah. creates the kick is a little raspy but it's vintage it's very like i don't know i mean i mean to uh you know kind of mix in the technology question you know the ai thing i think it's funny how in the in the sort of 90s you know all these samplers came out and the point was to make it sort of clean and digital and no artifacts and sort of the whole goal was to eventually create what we have now which is kind of perfect uh sounding uh, instruments and just recordings and and whatever and now people want to kind of go back to the kind of the dirt and the grit of these 90s samplers right like uh the mpcs and the akai's and all that so everyone's yeah. putting vinyl simulator on their beats today and including me as well <laughs> you know yeah. i'm not uh, i'm not special here so so it's kind of funny how that sound, that particular sound, you know, is kind of timeless in a way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even even on some of my mixes, I'll take a, I'll take a record that record needle feedback that, like that little pop noise that you the hear, crackle, the crackle, and I'll put it on and the most, hiss. most of the layers of my songs just to give it that grit of it yeah. being like just because it just sounds better. I have no idea why. It's just so good to have that that wax, that needle on carving it off. Like it's just good to yeah. feel that on your ears. Yeah. At least at least I mean, like uh, in the background. It's just such a very I don't know what that word is, but it's um I'm high, so um <laughs> uh, but it just makes it very easy to listen to. It just makes you want to keep listening to it. I think a lot of your beats do that too. I think you're, yeah. you're it's, uh, I, I can sum it up. It, it's texture. texture it, everything exactly. in music texture. is about texture. You you know, you, you can listen to these clean sterile beats made in logic or whatever with no processing on it. It's just a drum uh, loop and some chords and it just sounds fucking out of place yeah, as soon as you yeah. add some distortion some low pass filtering some you know uh bit crushing aliasing artifacts it, it becomes this cohesive thing right so yeah. it's all about texture for me as well so yeah, that's kind no, of i think uh, you're a master of texture uh, <laughs> and not enough uh, producing philosophy here right but uh but that leads me to number four on the list yeah. which is uh which is a, a close a close one between uh, Rissa uh, and Texture Madlib God. for me. Uh, I think Madlib. I'm going to go with Rissa uh, for me personally, but just because uh, of the influence from Wu from Wu Tang, you know the samples, especially my early stuff. I think oh, you can yeah. tell yeah. kind oh, of yeah. the uh, the mixing of all these different samples and just the barely mixed sound as well. Like it's not mixed yeah. very well. So that's kind of the Rissa part of it. And then mm -hmm. of course number five is is going to be Madlib just because. Yeah, you know of the of the doom, you know MF Doom God's influence, yeah. uh, Mad Villainy. Uh, the the master. And I would have put I, I would have put Doom Doom uh, at number six if there was a, a six option, um, just because of his creativity with well, uh, fuck using it. respectable six. I'm gonna steal the declaration. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you can't you can't knock it. He was a, he was a yeah. beast. Well, hell yeah, One man. One of the greats. I think a lot of people wanted to know that who are fans of you and who've been listening to you for a while. So that's real cool. Go check out all those artists. They're really sick. Um, I guess, shit, we could also segue into this on, on a wrap up show. Um, uh, what is your dream collaboration? And, you know? Oh. And Jesus that could Christ, include, bro. you don't have to put one artist. Let's give him like. You know, you could have a collab. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like a like a like three your, like three ooh, verse ooh, song. Ooh, better yet, I'll even mark the. I'm gonna fix the question and go dream studio session, as in collab. Oh, like if you were making shit, okay, bro. like if you was yeah, making yeah. an album. Well, let him think about it. Real yeah, quick. yeah. If you were making a, okay. a song with with no no fuck that like an like oh, you know like, a short album. Oh, like maybe like, like a three track album with with who would you want to make that three track studio album? You're locking in with the studio with whoever you okay. choose your dream choices. Yeah. It's a and kind of fuck it, you can bring people back to life. You, you, can, you can bring people back to life too, if you want. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, uh, it's kind of a fucked up question because, you know, you have to take in things like sim uh, synergy, 
between these artists, you know, who fits what track, right? Right. Like, yeah. I would okay. Mm, okay, well, let's I, fix that. I don't that. think I would put... Uh, let's fix that and say you guys have all went out to a three-month ski trip. You guys are all fucking best friends at <laughs> yeah. this point. Like, you're best <laughs> okay. friends with Every, everyone's, everyone's on okay. everyone's on Everyone's on your speed dial right now. Like, you could call them for money. Got it. So, yeah. Got it. You guys should so, form man, like a Man, I'd have league. to say you guys fucking... Bowl together. <laughs> yeah. You I think swap. I'm gonna say uh, <laughs> Flying Lotus. <laughs> Flying Lotus. What, what, what did you say? I, I didn't catch it. What, what did, oh, what did you, you said say? you guys. Oh, you got, I was like, you guys are such good friends. You swap wives. It's all good. <laughs> <You're just making laughs> it like it's that level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys are good. <laughs> okay. It's a trust. Well, in that case, I'm gonna <laughs> pick someone thing. with a with a hot wife. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, like. Uh, yeah, I, I'm like it's it's gonna be a, a bit sort of close to the sort of uh, top the, five, the top, top five, six yeah. producer thing, but but not completely because there there are some wild cards here. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna have Beth Gibbons from uh, Portishead, love it, you know the lead oh, singer, yeah. love it, and I'm gonna combine her with uh, with uh, RZA and love Captain it. Murphy, not Flying Lotus, but his alter ego, alter Captain ego, Murphy, yeah. Yeah. more psychedelic, uh, and then. Um, you know, uh, MF Doom, of course, I would pair with Earl Sweatshirt, which uh, we have seen, I think, once. I think once. Once on a on a, on a a song with uh, Captain Murphy. I think yep. Captain Murphy produced it. Yep. And that's uh, kind of you know, just a bit and of a tangent here. But that. Yeah. that song, that song, I think if you can play it, it would be super dope if you could find it. Uh, Captain Murphy, Earl Sweatshirt, yeah, and uh, MF Doom. I think it's the, it's the song. I can't remember what it's called, cool. but I remember hearing that song, and that's kind of what got me to post my first beat on SoundCloud ever. Oh wow, um, that's awesome! Which wow. was a Earl Sweatshirt type beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Hell yeah, man! And that's kind of what got ones. me going in the first place. So you know, yeah, uh, yeah that that's kind of how it started. Uh, I, I was listening to a lot of Earl Sweatshirt and just. This guy's fucking dope. I, I, I want to make something that he would have rapped on, right? right and yeah. that song, I can't remember what I called it back then. Maybe just Earl Sweatshirt type beat some shit. But that's kind of the um, the song I ended up calling Cartoons and Serial, I think. Oh, it's, nice. it's, it's on my, it's uh, been re-uploaded to my SoundCloud, so it's still there. It's, it, it, it has it this weird steal the sort of uh, House of Pain type sample. <laughs> So like a record scratch oh, yeah. so periodically fire. and then has this deep bass and some uh, really crunchy we need to put drum, together like a like drum a breaks. on um greatest hits greatest yeah. hits or or just i mean the, I, the classic a couple of years ago i i uploaded sort of like a free part series of my productions it's like a spanning from 2013 to 15 15 to 16 and so forth uh, and it's on there on SoundCloud, so that's awesome. kind of my version of a greatest greatest hits. Kind yeah, of some yeah. sort. kind of like a little we compilation. Need a, we need to release it as a metaphysics uh, thing, and just have you on there, and just oh yeah, on, we uh, could get it on on the metaphysics. Get it on uh, all platforms, Spotify. brother. Because yeah, that'd be really fun to push. <laughs> yeah, really cool. Because we'll make a visual for like you know just on the stories for IG and shit. It'd be really cool to push all that. Cause man, yeah, oh, you sure. just you put in a lot of work, man, and I'm excited to get get more shit done with you. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So so what? Who else is in this session to wrap it up? Okay, I'll give you a couple more options to fit. Who, do you know engineers? <laughs> do you know any engineers that you might want in there to help you out? Any famous? Oh, you want Rick Rubin in there with you? Uh, no, no. Yeah, I wouldn't want him in there with me either. He's too, <laughs> he just looks. I just he makes me uncomfortable. He doesn't do engineering. Either. I know. I'm just he's. But that's what he's titled as. And he's, it, he's vibes. I know, and it's just like, well, he's made a lot of hits. You wouldn't want Man, him in there. You know, you know who I want as an engineer. I want Alex Tumay, who did uh, Ooh, Twenty One like Savages, um, uh, his uh, his one of his uh, biggest albums. I can't remember the name. Is it just called Savage Mode? I think. I think Savage so, yeah. Mode. I think yeah, it's yeah. called. And and he has a whole breakdown of kind of the the things he did on that uh, on that album, and it's just fucking. It's just amazing, and he's just like Man. a big inspiration because he uses completely in the box, you know, digital emulations of 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 stuff, and it's like it's very accessible, and and I like his sound, so 
Yeah, I want oh, yeah. him in there definitely. That would be that. Yeah, him and him. That and then like of course uh, the uh, the Kanye uh, Travis Scott producer. Uh, what's what's he called? Uh, he's like a pretty old guy at this point. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. Remember I got his, his face in uh, my you know head, man. Uh, he is he is raw. Fuck. Yeah, you know what I'm talking. Who I'm yeah, talking about, right? You know who you're talking about. That would be ill if he was in that session, Ma- man. He'd be Mike, like Mike Dean, Mike Dean, Mike that's Dean. Yeah, Mike yeah, Dean. yeah. He would put this fucking yeah. sauce on that, the spice. Like you'd all would come with the transition, yes. and then he could be like, "We can spice this up." Blah, that'd be crazy. Yeah, that's a good session. That's <laughs> and then session. for for you know the last dude I want in there is of course you, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey. I made it. I made it. I made it. Let's go. We did it. <laughs> Go, bro. Simply because you know I need someone to hold it down on the drugs, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, you know, it's all, yeah, I'm gonna be in there with the nah, whole back. I'm kidding. I need, yeah, I need no, those bars. I need those bars. Those bars. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I would just probably be geeking out. I have to go to the bathroom and fucking gather myself about how many people I like are in the room right now. I'd be like, fuck me. Be holding farts, big time. Yeah, dude, no farts in the studio. <laughs> Anybody fart in the studio? You fucking Addy. Um, uh, shit. Uh, I had one more. Uh, fuck. Uh, um, Dr- dream blunt rotation that would oh, be fun yeah. too <laughs> oh yeah big smoke I, oh yeah this is what I was gonna say I'd want I'd want the I'd, I just not that he has to be a part of it but I just want the lead singer of Radiohead just kind of just chilling just yeah. drinking just oh. drinking and having a good time maybe he comes and lays something down if yeah, you, yeah. If, if, little if, back if it vocals, overcomes him little back vocals you know and and then I just want the also the the singer from uh, Gorillaz and Blur to come yeah, and oh, just Damon, say hey uh, Damon Blur's Albarn. at Coachella bro. I just want yeah, yeah. No, I just want him to pop in and say oh you guys are looking oh this sounds great man sounds great man I'm gonna go catch a flight but I love you guys and then and then be, everybody be like fuck yeah I love that guy it would send the morale up how you doing Tom and then and then, and then our last special guest to come through the studio would be Snoop Dogg. I would really love Snoop Dogg to come through the studio. Oh hell yeah! Just to give everybody, hey, what's up, Unc? And then everybody would be like, hey, no boys really got it going on. And then and then they'll be like, all right, we're gonna make we, a hit. And we get high as fuck. Yeah. Right and then we're gonna get fucking. And then we might take a nap. Man, yeah, if, if you say Snoop Dogg, you gotta you gotta say Cat Williams too. You know? Oh man, <laughs> Cat Williams. Yeah, Cat Williams. He can stay around for a bit, but as soon as he starts talking shit on everybody, like, all right, man, this is a studio <laughs> session. Can you just take that shit outside? <laughs> But no, I would love Cap. Would he through. can read just, 3,000 you know, books real quick. Oh, in this yeah. You know, only dress, only if he dresses in the Money Mike oh, suit hell from yeah. Friday After Next. And he's, and he's Money Man, Mike. Man, you, you just pick him up by his collar and, you know, like flick I him out. I pick him up like a little five-year-old <laughs> boy. In studio. Hollywood. You're the best comedian uh, of, of the world. <laughs> no, no, shout out Kai. He's, he's the truth. Uh, that'd, be a, that'd be a dream for real, for real. Um, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Shit. Uh, shit, man. We just made our hour, man. It was really fun. Uh well, I, well, you will have more episodes, more more metaphysic stories. Uh, I, that's why, you know, I, I really encourage every listener who came in on this one to email us at destroyallhumanspod at gmail.com if you have any questions for Alphonse, if you have any questions for, you know, what, what about the episode, anything we didn't touch over. We didn't really have a whole lot of time. We did, he had a, he had, He's got some stuff to go catch up with, but it's no worries. He'll be back. So um, we really appreciate you rocking with Alphonse. And uh, we really yeah. appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys rocking with us uh, this long. Happy to bring you guys the episode 64. Big 64, man. Love you, Alfon. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on, guys. It was it was uh, really good seeing you. And, you know, <laughs> you know, I don't think people are going to see this. They're going to hear it. But, you know, it was yeah. nice catching up with you guys. And, you well, know, I love what you guys will, do. Man. Eventually, yeah, man. Eventually, we, yeah. Yeah, you want to get of our, my ugly mug on there. <laughs> one of our, uh, probably our best interviews. We, 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 are, we are very pleasured to... Man, have you on here, man? Yeah. It's been it's been, for it's been sure. awesome, man. Especially for the special six four episode. Six four episode, man. Yeah. Love you to death. We'll have another one Metal probably physics. on the six hundred and sixty fourth episode. Uh or maybe the forty oh no, we already passed four six. Uh or maybe the We'll figure it out. <laughs> what we're gonna do? Remember the well, episode, it? episode sixty-nine. I'm gonna say sixty-nine sex positions as fast as I can. Oh yeah, we're gonna be, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll be. Able, we want to be on episode sixty-nine with this. Have yeah, a, for sure. And, and also all the prime numbers and you know all yeah. kind of uh, things to do with six four. You know, I'm gonna be there. Oh, Whether yeah. you like it or not, I'm gonna be there. So. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. there's six four day every year. So how about that? Eighty eight is a uh, six. T- oh eight yeah. T- eight. Eight times and also, eight is sixty four. So eighty eight. Y- hmm. You do you do dates and months uh, reverse over there. Uh, so it's it's gonna be like. 
twice so a year his for four, every 6'4 six, four four and 4'6. Four, six. Six. Our 4'6 six would be his 6'4 and his 4'6. Exactly. Six yeah. Wow. So we can have hella days. This is going to be <laughs> great. <laughs> Hell yeah. The way you just shot your hands up like the like happy this emoji is it. with this the is little it. hands right there. We're on. Hell yeah, man. Well, good shit, man. Uh, fucking happy 6 4 episode, man. Love you to death, brother. Yeah, you too, bro. Thanks yep. for having me on, guys. Now, now we're going to play that song. Yep, we're going to play uh, the fucking uh, MF Doom collabo that Alphon did with and uh, put me on there. Man, bless, bless to death. I'm so, so happy to be a part of that. So, yo, we're going to have y'all ride this out, man. Big love. Big 6 4 all day. Big tits, big thanks. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find that? It ain't nothing like a full of cash or a blitz full of the hash that twists like a moustache. From end to end, spread it like a rash. From talking through your walkman or at your disco bash. Give me the Tim's rumple, still skin brown. A metal face mask with a built in frown. A mic to tilt down, a hundred thousand pounds. And see how guilt sound like spilt milk cloud. Cocoa butter on a very ashy day, fam. Ray bands out on the islands of Cayman. Or I break it down for the layman. Band de Soleil for the San Tropez Tan, a can of old gold Too cold to hold, slow your roll Keep on moving like soul to soul Hold the dough, like a fool stole pity y'all for trying to go up against City Hall Titty ball, the black mic is like A red violin, okay Everybody back to the lab, try again Park the whip, target lock, now hard to hit with sharper scars, carpet in your favorite rapper's artisan. Play the legal garden up the bogey just to start some shit. Shark star with the parts of libs of an artist. Free base with three masons, come be a part of it. Get a nice apartment. You try and get that penthouse, respect that carmen. Grab the pump action and blast back to the start of it. Cause y'all so dug with us and I don't get done laughing. I'm smacking off that chatterbox, that jabber jaw. Stab and stall rap, step back and all cause y'all don't rap at all generic. If I had to call it out like welcome Marvel, bitch, yeah. Feds watching, look so good with my no chains flossing snuffing looking so looking so welcome all the bitch yeah that's watching looking so looking so